Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Life Fragments Oracle. My name is Susie, and I'm so glad that you are here. I have a couple of really cool things I wanted to show you today, and I wanted to follow up on a couple of things. I have been using the Alpen Beauty Wild Huckleberry Radiance Skin Peel now for a few days. I gave myself a break uh, for one day because I noticed that it really is lifting all the dead skin cells off my face. But there's nothing harsh going on. It's not sore, there's no redness. It's just actually just lifting all of the dead skin and the dead skin cells off my face. So I highly recommend this product. It's very exciting to me. The whole package right down to uh, Kendra who started this uh, business. Um, Wild Huckleberry Radiant Skin Peel is a new launch and I love their mission statement for all of us and the planet. So highly recommend. I will put that video right here so you can watch it. And if it's too long for you to watch, there is a short that I also did right here on my channel. So scroll down and check that out. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you about is using the Eye of St. Laurent All Hours Foundation. Now I did a little bit of research about the foundation. Didn't know anything about it. I pretty much stick to myself on YouTube and I have my favorite people but I decided to Google it and it really kind of went viral about seven months ago. Well, that doesn't make it old. It's not even a year old yet. But the price is up there. It's $60 for a bottle of this foundation. So today I debated, should I purchase it? Should I just continue to use the samples? And I am gonna use one of the samples today in a different color this one right here because I used up the other sample and I also took out the darker skin tone to use as contour so that should be interesting but I wanted to show you they have 40 skin tones to choose from all the way down to the darker skin tones. And that is pretty impressive. We will be using that today. The other thing that I wanted to show you is what I'm wearing on my head. This is a hairpiece that I purchased with a very interesting story. I wish it went faster. It would be like a merry-go-round. So I decided to order this hair piece from Alter Ego when they had their 50% off sale. So basically I paid about $15 for this hair piece. This is, uh, it's called the number one 26 inch ponytail hair piece. <clears throat> And what they do is they send it to you in a package like this, which is also in a package. And they send you a swatch so you can put it up next to your hair. Well, they didn't have gray. And I thought, all right, I'll go platinum because sometimes the streaks in my hair that are gray do look platinum. So this is what they send, send you they send you a tester piece. So you can put it up next to your hair like this. And it says, match me with your hair to see if we are made for each other. Well, I knew what I was getting. So that wasn't the problem. It also, the piece itself comes in a hairnet like this. So it's all very protective. 
<clears throat> and then they also give you a card inside that tells you about the product. I was so, so, so disappointed because I had already opened up the package and you're not supposed to be return the package after you've opened it because you've put it on your hair. I was going to send it back anyway. And then I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm going to figure something out. So what I did is I put my hair up in two ponytails right here. And then I gathered those two pieces into one ponytail. How the ponytail works is it comes with a clip that's attached to a piece like this. There's a, there's a comb right here. And you put that comb into your ponytail and then there's a long Velcro piece about this long with a long piece of hair attached to it. And you wrap that around your, your, your original ponytail and you Velcro it. And you keep wrapping it till there's no hair and then you pin it on either side. They do provide the pins that match the color of the hair. This ponytail did not look like a, it, it. Well, actually, it did look like a ponytail. It looked like it could be on a horse. That's how long it was. I wanted the length, but I, I didn't want that much hair. And it was so heavy. They say, you know, put two elastics if you have to for your ponytail. It didn't matter. It was so heavy. It was dragging down my hair. And my hair is fairly thick for my age. So I was just so disappointed. And you know, I, I told you, I go to my husband because he's going to tell me the truth. And I, I showed it to him and he just busted out laughing. And he said, you know, Susie, your hair is so much more prettier than that. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look real. And I said, I know. It, and he goes, Jesus and Crow, it's like, it looks like it belongs on a horse. So <clears throat> I'm saying this because I've watched some fairly good reviews on it. And, and I'm thinking to myself, if I've got fairly thick hair, how are these women or girls that have thin hair, how is this ponytail going to be able to, to stay on their ponytail? because it's so weighted and so heavy. And then I got this idea. I decided to cut up to the netting some of the hair off. So I cut a lot of the hair off, but that left this and you could see through it. So that was disappointing. But then I realized that this netting is in layers. So you can cut each layer. The hair is put on the netting, or the, I don't know what that's called. I call it like a hair net. It's put on in layers. So I cut that whole entire layer off. Then I cut the hair on the bottom. It is shorter than my regular hair. And then I want to show you the amount of hair that I cut off this thing. Look at this. It is like, I wish I had a scale. I don't, I don't even have a meat scale. This is about a pound of hair, really. That's too much hair. That is way, way too much hair. And I decided to keep this because I decided to see if I could make my own hair piece out of this. If not, I'm just going to toss it in the trash. What I'd like to do is take this down so you can see it, 
but I'm not going to. I'll do that on another day. Instead, I just wrapped my hair with this hair to form this hair piece. because I love the two-tone look. See how I did this? And after I wrapped the ponytail and I didn't have this showing anymore, I wrapped the ponytail hair around with Velcro. I clipped it. So this is what the ponytail itself looks like on the elastic and then I clipped it and then all I did was wrap and pin. So I said to my husband, I friggin' don't quit. If I pay money for something, okay, I want, even though I, I got it half price, I wouldn't pay $30 for it, no way. But I got it for half price and I said, if there's a will, there's a way and I'm gonna do this and gosh darn it, I did it. So the, the first way that I did it with the two ponytails and then merging them as one after I clipped it in, I was able to pull my own hair through the platinum so it looks like stripes. That looked really pretty. And it also looks like I pulled this part up because it's shorter. And he really liked it. He said, now that looks nice. That looks really good. And then when I did this, he said, that looks really pretty too. So I trust his judgment because, you know, the guy's not going to want to be seen with somebody that's got fake hair if there's no reason. I asked for an honest opinion. So I got an honest opinion and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. Okay. Had a great birthday. I came home to some gifts. My husband bought me this necklace, which is a key. And he didn't even realize how important this symbol is to me right now in my spiritual work. And then he bought me these beautiful earrings at the same place that he bought me my snowflake pendant. So... I am thrilled. I've been wanting studs for so long, and they recommended these. So that was really exciting to come home to after getting to see my, my grandbaby, Escher, who is absolutely adorable. So yeah, let's put on some of the Michillo primer. Let's use the Michillo brush again, which I'm in love with. Let's use some of the Yves St. Laurent samples. And, oh, one more thing. Remember I told you that my, my daughter knew that I was going to do the Art Deco um, face look? going to keep talking about it because it's coming. It's coming. She gave me this palette. It's the Urban Decay Electric. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but she said she had to buy it for some event that she went to. Look at the colors. Aren't they wild? <laughs> I mean, they are gorgeous. I love this color. I love, I love them all. And then to go with this, she gave me eyeliner in cobalt blue. She used a little bit of it. She told me if you don't feel comfortable, spray it with some alcohol. My kids are all really creative. And she's my daughter. I'm not worried about it. And then the other one is in like a teal blue. So I'm going to be using one of these eyeliners tonight. And I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to be using any of this eyeshadow. I think I'm going to revisit the revolution. I'm going to try to put time stamps in this video because <sighs> I'm long-winded. I'm long-winded. But I feel like, you know, I can't rush out what I want to say. I'm, I'm a teacher. You know, I want to make sure that I, I express myself properly. Okay, so let's get out the, look at this. 
even the way it sits in there, the, the bottom of the brush does not touch the bottom of the case. So the case does not get messed up. Listen, if you've never tried a brush like this, go down into the description box and check it out. It's on sale right now. It's just, it's so nice, you guys. It's so nice, and it's so fast. And I'm going to take my brush again, and I'm going to stir the foundation because it separates. So the other thing about this foundation is that it has 30 SPF in it, and it's supposed to last all day. And my experience yesterday, I put it on in the morning early, around 9 o'clock, and then I took off. And when I got home at about six o'clock, it was still on my face and hadn't gone anywhere. So let me get myself together here and we will get this video started. I don't even know if I need to pin it. Maybe I can just, yeah, I'll just do that. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right, this color here Looks like it might be another good batch to my skin. I'm going to use the Machillo Primer, which I'm in love with, and I am going to use just one pump this time. And I'm going to dot it. I'm just going to dot it. And smear it in. <clears throat> If you are looking for a really nice primer, this is a really nice primer. It's a really nice primer. Oh, my hair isn't staying, so. What's the matter with you hair? It's it's so soft and it's so smooth and it spreads so evenly. Oh my gosh, I even go under my eyes with it. It's beautiful. You know what? My skin is looking really nice since I've been using that Alpen Beauty. Really, really nice. And it feels really nice. Okay, let me dot on some of the foundation if you want to try this go into Sephora I believe I I think that I got this sample in my Too Faced package or maybe I got it in my Sephora I'm not sure but I didn't order this sample Oh, and the other thing is, is I have three foundation sticks coming from Basma. Thought that I would try it because, you know, I love my Lancome Tinty Dole stick foundation. I love this foundation and I have not reordered it because I have a lot of foundations. So... I'm the only one that uses it, and I want to try this other stick foundation, and if I don't like it, I'm going to be getting another Lancome stick foundation. But, you know, I'm reviewing products on my channel for you guys. I only so. have one face and several foundations. Again, this foundation brush is out of this world. Would you look at how fast this is? Oh, I wanted to tell you guys something. This is kind of important. Somebody, and I'm not sure if they're a subscriber or not, asked me if I shaved my face. And no, I do not shave my face. 
I have a special tool that I use for above my lip. And a little bit right here and maybe here occasionally. This is so gentle you can go right over your eyes. And you can go under your eyes. It is so soft and so gentle. That's it. That's all I'm going to put on for foundation, I think. I did notice with the sun yesterday when I was looking in my magnifying mirror that I do have some hairs right here that looked apparent. All I have to do is go like this with my brush. Nobody can see them. Nobody can see these. And the hair, the little downy filament hair that we have on our face is there for a reason. It's to catch dirt. It's to catch impurities. So I have no desire to shave my face unless I absolutely positively had to. So that's the answer to that question. All right, let's put on some concealer. So if you guys stick around to the end, I have something I want to read to you. And I think it will help those of you that are struggling right now. And if you're not struggling right now, it is still a good practice to do this every single day. You can make it part of your daily meditation. I wash this brush. All of my brushes need to be washed. I got that on. Let me put on, let me do my eyebrows now. See how simple I, I go? I'm not, I don't feel like it's necessary this is the shape of my eyebrows, except for when I was younger, they were much fuller. So they went up kind of to this right here and then down, and they were full right here. But because I overpluck them, as I've mentioned several times, they do not go that way anymore. I do like to extend the tail down a little bit. I mean, if you've got eyebrows that go all the way over to here, great. But I never have. You know, we don't all have to look the same. I think that's a little strange, don't you? Even angels, when they have to show up in physical form, all look different. So, you know. Okay, let me pick out a color for my eyeshadow. I think I'm going to use this as a transition color. It looks different in the camera. And then I think I'm going to use this color on my lid. Well, take your glasses off, Susie. That might be a good idea. Yeah, if you're thinking about getting a hairpiece from Alter Ego, be very mindful of that. Be very mindful of that. It's, um, you know, get the smaller ponytail, but, you know, if you don't have a lot of hair and you're trying to get fuller hair, you might even have to put your hair in a bun and then put the ponytail part on 
because it's it's heavy. I would love for a company to send me a, a very thin ponytail that I can Velcro around my regular ponytail and, and kind of braid it into my hair. And I want gray or like a silver. That's really what I want is silver. But I think it looks cool. It's almost like a purpley mauve color. I'm going to put that on my lid. Oh, I loved wearing that brown yesterday. I loved wearing that brown. That's a pretty color. Let me get in close. You know, I understand that there, you know, there are so many different brands of eyeshadows and lipsticks and foundations and makeup. But if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget, you're not going to want to spend $60 on a foundation unless it's the foundation that you love and it's the foundation that you're going to continue to use. This is very, it's, it's pretty. It has a sparkle to it, but it's not glitter. I think I'm going to put this shimmer right here. It's a white shimmer under my eyebrows. I have to tell you though, I love a good brown matte. I find that shimmers do not blend as well as mattes. Okay, now I want to put, I think I'm going to take this shimmer right here, or maybe this one right here, and I'm going to put that right in the center of my eye. It's not showing up. What's going on? There we go. I think I'm going to take, <laughs> this is going to be dark. I think I'm going to take this brown right here. And I'm going to just kind of feather it in. Did you see that? All I did was tap this in there. I just tapped. I went pretty dark there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to put a line on either side. Stick around for the end because I want you guys to hear the spiral steps. This is 
because healing is a spiral. Destructive behaviors and attitudes are also a spiral. One spirals down and the other spirals up. So we want to spiral up. That is my prayer for all of you to spiral upward. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on <laughs> this cobalt blue eyeliner. Let me get my eyeliner, eyeliner brush. I love this eyeliner brush because the, 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 the brush itself is flat. So this is the wide side and this is the thin side. So when you're holding this, your, your fingers are holding the flat side of the brush. This is the Sephora brand. So I'm putting it, I'm putting it on my hand because I want to test it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in close Okay, so that's not as bright as I want it. That's better. trying to go as close to my eyelashes as I possibly can. I'm going to drag this up. Do you like it? You can go even override this portion of your eye. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye. All right. Let's get the other eye done, and I will be right back. Okay, friends, I've got both my eyes done, and I kind of really had to work at the darker Ives St. Lawrence. Uh, foundation because it is foundation I had to work it in to use it as a contour but I do so much better with powder and I used my beautiful cloud crush I'm just so in love with these blushes by Too Faced oh so in love with them um, I put on three different kinds of lips well two different kinds of lipstick with a different lip liner. Um, I used a Wet n Wild $2 <laughs> lipstick in Pink Frost. And then I went over it with my Laura Geller Central Park Spice. And I used, let me put my glasses over here. And I used the 110 and purely nude color sensational by Maybelline around as a lip liner and now I'm going to set some areas with my 
Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is not the translucent. It's going to set a little under my eyes. I checked out this foundation. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh. It's so tempting. I think I'm going to purchase a bottle of it. It's very tempting. I wish I knew a million people. <laughs> I wish I knew a lot of women my age that like to wear makeup because I've got some foundation that I'm going to be able to give away. I can't, there's no possible way that I can use all this foundation. And, you know, I don't put my fingers on the bottle if there's a pump or I pour it out onto my palette. Okay, let's finalize this video with spiral steps. So there are actually 13 steps in this because it's based on the 12 step program, but it's called spiral steps because it is spiritual. So I'm going to read all 12 of them to you. If you'd like to get a notebook and jot down notes. Number one, we admitted that we had a problem and made the decision to reclaim our lives. Number two, we came to believe that there was hope for healing, health, and balance. Number three, we now honor our connection with the divine as we understand it and we accept the process of change. Number four, we make a searching, fearless, and honest inventory of our behavior and beliefs. We consider their effect on our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual selves and their impact on our relations with others. Number five, we admit to ourselves and to another human being what is both healthy and unhealthy in our lives and we make a daily commitment to heal ourselves in body, mind, and spirit. Number six, we are willing to seek our highest good and to grow both spiritually and emotionally. Number seven, we let go of dysfunctional thoughts and behaviors and we consciously welcome joy, love, and peace into our lives. Number eight, we make a list of all beings that we have harmed, including ourselves, and we become willing to make amends to them all. Number nine, we work to restore balance in our lives. We make direct amends to our others whenever possible and wherever possible, and we value and care for ourselves. Number 10, we continue to take personal inventory and properly acknowledge both our mistakes and our achievements whenever they occur. Number 11, we continue to grow in compassion, strength, and understanding. We learn to celebrate our lives and our connection to all living things. Number 12, having had a spiritual and emotional awakening, we work to help others along the path and we practice these principles in all our affairs. And number 13, we seek to find our calling and to develop the will and the wisdom to follow it. Namaste. Be well, my friends. Be blessed. Be beautiful because you are, because, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. You are loved. And my prayer for this coming Lion's Gate portal into August is that you will be abundantly blessed in the ways that are most necessary for you. Until next time. Mwah. There's a kiss for ya. Bye bye.